Hello and welcome back to the Excelific videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use the upper function in Microsoft Excel. The Excel upper function converts all letters to uppercase in a text string. Let's understand how this function works with the help of examples. So we type upper function here in cell B8 and then we hit tab to autocomplete. Upper function takes only single argument which is a text argument. It can either be a cell reference to the location in the worksheet or supplied directly into the function. So we take 8 in the argument which has text E X C E L Excel in all lowercase and we close the parenthesis and hit enter. Function converts the text E X C E L in all uppercase. In the next example, you will see what happens if there is a text which has only first letter in uppercase and remaining are in lowercase. So we enter function here and we take a9 in the argument and hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function converted the text to all uppercase and return. You can also type directly into the argument. So we clear the argument and type Microsoft Excel in double quotes. As you can see like M and E are in caps, we hit enter. And it converts all lowercase letters to uppercase and function return Microsoft Excel in uppercase. Okay, now we type upper function here in B10 and we take A10 in the text argument and hit enter. This time function returned the exact output which is there in cell A10 because all the letters are already in uppercase which is why the function did not change anything and return as is. Now we move on to the next example and we take A11 in the text argument and if you look at A11 it contains text, special characters and numbers and when we hit enter function only changes the text and the special characters and numbers remain unaffected. That's because function only converts the letters and does not affect any numbers or special characters. In the fifth example, you will see what happens if the argument which we supply in the function is blank. So we enter function here and we select A12 which is a blank cell and hit enter. It returned empty as answer. It is because the argument which we have supplied in the function does not contain anything and hence function returned to an empty cell. Now we move on to the last example and we take a13 in the text argument which contains any error and when we hit enter function returns with any error as answer it is because function does not process any error value in the supplied argument and returns the same error which is taken in the argument and in this case as there is any error in a13 the function returned any error as answer so this is how upper function works in different ways we hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.